as you can see, today, they bulk charged, absorption charged, and went into float. And that's good. That's what you want to see. That means when they went into absorption, this second phase, um, when they ended absorption, the batteries were full. And then the float means that the solar panels were just providing enough power to the system to power any, any loads so that the battery just stayed full. This is what you want to see. This means you have plenty of power being generated. So today was a good power day. Yesterday, it spent all day in bulk. It never even flipped over to absorption, which means by the end of the day yesterday, I wasn't fully charged. The day before, it flipped to absorption but never actually got to the float stage, which meant it was very close to full, but it never quite got full. Now the day before it got to float again, the day before that it did not, the day before it only got to absorption. I just, I feel like my power generation is below what I need it to be to be sustainable on an ongoing basis. So I'm going to make changes. Most of the supplies I need for the projects I'm planning to do are here. I've got my two new solar panels. It's another 200 watts of solar I'll be adding and all the various electrical and other parts I need to get them installed. The task I set for myself this morning before it gets hot is to get everything in here wired up for the new solar panels so that when I actually get the new solar panels installed I can just plug them in and I'll have power. So the first thing I did is remove, disconnect this breaker because I need to add another breaker for the new solar panels. I labeled all the wires. So just the fidgetiness and the time it takes to do things is always uh, a wonder to me. It doesn't look like much to change. What has changed is there's a third breaker here now. So I have a breaker for my large panels, my small panels, and a breaker where the, both of the charges will go to the battery. The boat is back to being a disaster. A bunch of stuff crammed in the V-berth, so I can't sleep up there. So I've been sleeping on, this is a, a sea berth that pulls out and it's wide enough to sleep fairly comfortably on. So I've been sleeping there. And you can see I've got some doors open. I've got a lot of uh, bits and pieces because I'm installing additional solar panels. And this, <laughs> Stuff is usually not in here. And I got a bunch of tools and parts and you know what should be my galley <laughs> here in the cockpit, it's even worse. And and a lot of this stuff, the reason this is all out here is because that locker in there gives me access to my engine and underneath the cockpit and all the things I need to do. And um, I had to empty everything out of there so I get in there to do the wiring. And so until that project is done, I just need somewhere to store all the stuff that's normally in there. Really calm this morning. It's supposed to be calm for most of the morning. When you have a project, having this kind of calm weather is a perfect opportunity to get it done without having to worry about getting seasick. Where is my new wire? It is tangled amongst other wire. I'm stuck. Help. It would be really nice to have the heat gun. I'm always afraid that I'm going to light the shit on fire. So, the fun to this is doing this without dropping and losing a screw. So I've decided that I'm going to lash these new panels to the Bimini um, instead of trying to do zippers or, or any other kind of connection. Um, I've seen a lot of other people use a lot of different ways. And I'm doing lashings, um, it sounds kind of like a cop-out. The reason is, is because it's easy. On the one hand, the lashings are going to be easy to install, which, you know, sounds like me just being lazy. But they'll also be easy to change if I don't like exactly where things are installed and that sort of things. It'll be a lot easier to change how it's installed because I can just untie some things and retie them, tighten things to move them around, all kinds of things. All right, I've got one panel hooked up and I need to make some extension wires for the other one because the, the leads on the panels aren't long enough. What I'm going to do is since that one's hooked up, I'm going to flip on the breaker and see if the power, see if I got the polarity right. I don't know why I turned that on. Um, these are my small panels. It sees 12.2. It's, it's charging off of that one panel. I made these extensions because the uh, pigtails 
on the cables are not long enough, you know, to go from one side to the other. I'm generating off of the new panels. Currently generating 17 watts in pretty crappy conditions. So I expect, you know, between 100 and 150 watts typically in the big panels, you know, we're putting out only a little bit more. So, um, all said and done, on a day like today, it's not a good day to see. Well, that's not true. Like, later in the day, it should be a great day because the clouds are supposed to clear up. It's supposed to be sunny all afternoon. So I should generate, you know, massive amounts of power this afternoon. But as far as this morning is concerned, no. And now the big thing is, is I get to finally clean up the boat. I don't have any other large projects to do. 